President Bola Metinibu has also approved more than 260 road repairs in 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory FCT, Abuja. Minister of Works Dave Umwahi stated this to State House correspondents after a closed door meeting with the President at Aso Rock on Thursday. Umwahi explained that the emergency repairs will gulp about 217 billion naira aside from the road construction works and upgrades, which President Bola Metinibu approved. So I'm quite glad. But this afternoon again, Mr. President also approved, you know, the upgrading of Abuja Kefi Akwanga Mafia Road. Of course, it's an ongoing, but it's on a PPP with the Chinese. We are paying 15%. And uh, of course, the construction of, um, you know, Lafia Bypass dualization, you know, from Makodi through Otrupo, through uh, nine, um, uh, Obolafo, down to Ninth Mile. Uh, it's a major one. Mr. President has approved it. Again, it's being financed by China Exim Bank. Uh, the Lafia Cafe is also financed by, you know, China Exim Bank. And then the construction of 7th Axa Road, Lake Deep Seaport, Assis, in Lagos. You know, we are uh, the state government of Lagos is building um, uh, the deep sea uh, port, uh, meaning that all the cargoes that cannot bet at uh, the existing ports in Lagos can now come to that location. And that's where the uh, refinery of Dangote is located, the fertilizer. And I saw thousands and thousands of uh, very serious, well-established companies that are already installing their equipment there. Uh, it's going to be a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, free trade zone. Uh, so Mr. President has just approved that um, I should go ahead and sign the MOU and then, uh, you know, approve that uh, it should be programmed for a priority in our, you know, um, business uh, with the Chinese. So that's what you have done today. Let me also announce that Mr. President approved the reconstruction of uh, FEMA board and... Um, this is very good for us so that um, work can now, you know, uh, get a little bit more serious with this FEMA in terms of um, very prompt maintenance of the road. According to the minister, they include the resurfacing of the third mainland bridge, construction of Lekki Deep Sea Port Road, reconstruction of two collapsed bridges in Enugu, and reconstruction of two locations on the Onicha Owewe Road. Other roads also approved for construction include the upgrading of the ongoing Abuja Kefia Kwanga Lafia Road, dualization of the Lafia Bypass. Of course, um, I've always uh, commended Mr. President uh, for uh, his deep interest in uh, restating uh, most of our roads in the country. Uh, every day we get um, a lot of uh, concerns from the public on the very deplorable situation of our roads. But there is no paper I came in respect of that that Mr. President has not uh, approved. And so um, just uh, yesterday he approved uh, over 260 roads interventions, you know, all over the states, 36 states and the FCT. And uh, recall last week he approved a, a lot of um, emergency uh, road and bridges repairs. You have three bridges that collapse in Southeast West Road. He approved for reconstruction immediately. We have Shandam, Lafia Bridge that collapsed. He approved also for the repairs. You have about uh, 17 points along East West Road that have been uh, destroyed by flood. Mr. President has uh, approved and released money for the immediate uh, repairs. You have, of course, the Tom Mainland Bridge, the resurfacing, and then some uh, noticeable deflection, which has to be done under the, the deck on top of the water uh, um, with, of course, equipment. So Mr. President has also approved that. Two bridges that collapsed in uh, Enugu, approved by Mr. President. Uh, the two locations in, uh, on the Showare Road, Mr. President approved the reconstruction. Lokaja Abuja Road, Mr. President approved the reconstruction. So I can name them, apart from the 260, uh, you know, emergency repairs all over the country that was about, um, you know, 217 billion naira.
Governor of Abia State Alex Oti has flagged off the reconstruction of the long abandoned Patakot Road in Abba, the commercial nerve center of the state. Governor Oti expressed his unwavering commitment to bringing the road back to its former glory and enhancing its economic viability as he noted that the reconstruction was not just a political gesture for short-term gains but rather a comprehensive effort to restore road resilience and economic significance. The governor was joined by his wife, Peculiar Oti, and the deputy governor, Ikechuku Emetu, among other top government officials in the flag of exercise of one of the most deplorable federal roads in the state awarded to Julius Bedger. <laughs> This road, as you can see, you have papaya and all other camera and all other trees growing right in the middle of the road, and that is because it had been left neglected for a long time. And now we have a governor that, within just a few months, has already contracted Julius Beggar to do the needful. This road has been dilapidated. This road has been roughly handled by the previous administration. But thank God, today, this road is taking a new shape. 